How's it going guys? This is Mouseball and this is the Attack Mouse Nation and my salty brothers and sisters. Welcome to part two of my introduction to Mouseball. This is a introduction to one of the cars that I own. Obviously I will be doing an introduction to Jasmine, my 2008 Corvette, which is undergoing restoration. But let's go ahead and talk about Mouseball's engine, where I left off. Now I explained what multi-air is, now I'm going to explain why it's so important to the engine. Now not only does it allow for great fuel efficiency and allows for the car to run at a very nice and stable RPM and allow for great drivability, but it also helps in performance. Now because of the variable valve timing system, which operates much like um, BMW's double Venus uh, variable valve timing system, this particular system allows for 160 horsepower out of 89 cubic inches. Now, if you go by the one horsepower per cubic inch rule, you're looking at literally 89 cubic inches and 89 horsepower. So if you take a small block Chevy and it makes 350 horsepower out of a 350 cubic inch displacement, well, it's making one horsepower per cubic inch. So mouse ball, which is actually making around 180 horsepower is making literally almost two and a half horsepower per cubic inch or almost close to three horsepower per cubic inch. Now, this is very impressive in a very small car that weighs only 2,500 pounds. So the curb weight of mouse ball is actually very light. And as you can see, guys, I have the black chrome on the front, a overlay that I designed and had done in the UK by Gary, who owns a Barth badge decals. Now, for anybody who wants custom stickers and custom vinyls for their car or their project, I highly suggest you hit up a Barth Badge Decals and take a good look on Instagram for Gary. He's at a Barth Badge Decals. He does great work, and I really love the fact that he took my design and made it happen. Now, another modification that I've done that is very, very simple very inexpensive and really adds to the car's ambiance, which is one thing that Mama Mouse is really concerned about with is how the car feels and how the car drives, but also the special little things that actually bring the car to a new level. And that right there is the mouse ball puddle light. Now this puddle light looks a lot better in the dark, but as you can see guys, right there when you exit the car you have this courtesy light it operates by a switch right on the bottom of the door and on the inside right here you see this is a very stylish very clean and very intuitive interior and right here guys the mouse ball shift knob now as you can see guys this shift knob is custom made I actually put some plants inside of it to give it the full Pokemon effect of mouse ball being in the grass where you usually find a wild Pokemon. Now it has a touchscreen display. It has the buttons for the media, a compass and a phone and a couple of other extra options for pairing Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay plus Android Auto. And then we have the hazard button, the defrost button and the sport button. Now, obviously you guys know what I do with cars, so you might be asking, well, why haven't you done something to the dash? Well, you know, the shoemaker never really gets the chance to repair their shoes now, do they? So I'll get around to it really soon. And when I get it done, it's gonna look fantastic. I'll probably pretty much go the same route I did with the hood and basically bring what you see on the hood into here, only smaller. Now, here we have a single display instrument cluster that's kind of like a choreograph watch but in actuality it's all digital the stock where it has the trip literally goes through a g meter through the tire pressures and through all the trip meters and everything else like that that you may need when going on a trip or hitting the track and really burning up those curves i also have the abarth badge decals from gary uh lamborghini gold and black um, a Barth Scorpion. I like this look more than I actually like the original logo that was on the car. I think it's cleaner and a whole lot better than what I had on it before. Plus, if Mama Mouse likes it, then there you go. That's all you need. 
Now, what's really neat with this feature of the car is if you actually press this in like that, it literally locks the car. So that's a very interesting little feature for a car that really doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, um, technology to it. It's actually a very sparse car. And the best part is, is that I can literally load quite a bit of stuff into this car. Now, what's really nice about it is I'm going to actually do the lift gate. Go ahead and open that up for you guys. But right here on the lift gate, I got two laundry baskets in this very small car and I have adjustable headrests. These are from a pop sport, not from an actual Abarth because these are actually red headrest. And the thing is, is that when Mama Mouse wanted something custom for the car, she wanted these red headrests as opposed to the black ones that the Abarth comes with stock. So this is actually what really makes our car distinct from other makes and models of the Fiat 500 is that we have that. Plus not to mention that, as you can see, we've got the racer flash pull down. This is a actually very useful item. It's made of heavy woven nylon and it's very strong. And then right here we have the generation four tail lamps from Europe. Now these tail lamps had to have a um, LED resistor wired in for them to work and for them to not hyper flash and they are probably one of the best parts of this car because it gives that very modern looking ring of fire look to it and that's what's super nice about those tail lamps. The original ones just look too close to the Mini Cooper and we weren't having that that's for sure. Now right here we're going to go very low and I'm going to show you the actual exhaust tips. Now you can barely see them but they are in fact Corvette exhaust tips. They are flared. They look like the old 1950 Maserati bell mouse and the best part is the noise that this car makes is incredible. And what I'm going to do guys is I'm actually going to turn it on and let it idle so that way you can hear it. But before I do that I'm going to show you the actual Italian flag which I'm, I apologize for the camera flipping like that but this is the Italian flag on mouse ball that I made out of aluminum and absolutely love and adore it. It's something that I'm very proud of. A lot of the modifications Mom and Mouse and I have done ourselves. So, you know, these mods are very subtle. They're very clean and they don't really have a whole lot as far as in your face looks. There's really no need to have that kind of thing because we like our cars being something that you can actually savor and enjoy as opposed to taking everything in all at once it just doesn't make sense to us now we've also done the r1 speed rotors right here and these are a drilled and slotted again a lot of this stuff is very dark but it does look really awesome behind the wheels the calipers are red right from the factory and also in these little cheeks right here we have the intercoolers now the intercoolers are actually a twin unit so you have one intercooler in one side of the car's bumper and then you have an intercooler on the other side of the car's bumper now most people will just go with a single front mount intercooler to kind of clean up the mess that's under the hood because a lot of this car is complicated for literally no reason and that's the thing about italians they do everything with flair and style but sometimes the actual you know engineering can be a little complicated and make servicing the car almost a nightmare in most cases so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get inside the car and we're gonna start it up and I'm also gonna give you an opportunity to take a look at the instrument cluster while it's on. So that's gonna be pretty neat to look at. So we're gonna get inside here and I am going to turn it on for you. All right. And I don't know if you can see that right there, but there it is, the digital cluster start it up and this will give you a better look at the inside of the instrument cluster but we have the boost gauge right here goes all the way up to 24 and trust me when I tell you this car has been up to a little bit past 18 almost 20 pounds of boost so it's definitely got it where it needs it and right here we have the AC controls 
very easy dials to manipulate and get where you want and then obviously right here we have the window switches now this is the oddest thing about the car is the fact that the window switches are separate from each other but it makes it kind of special because when you have your loved one or a friend they have their own separate window control that's close to the actual shift knob so for those of you who love hanging out with your girlfriend and want to put your hand on top of hers well there you are you can just basically say hey i'm just trying to open your window for you I'm trying to be a gentleman <laughs> but right now we're going to go to the back and i am going to show you how this little car idles got a very mellow sound and it does not sound like a four cylinder at all and one other thing that we've added to this car that's actually very nice is the turn signals now the turn signals are normal up front but right here they are a sequential light led light that goes across so that right there is a nice little touch for this car it really makes a great look when you're doing a turn signal um, or changing lanes when you do a turn signal. So, I mean, just absolutely love the little details. And that's what separates our cars from any other person's car. And right here, all of the markings, the three triangles that usually appear on mouse balls back are in this two over two 12 carbon fiber. And then we have the forged carbon fiber, which kind of looks like a black camouflage with a little bit of silver sprink sprinkled in. And then here we have the shark fin antenna. Now, this car comes with a regular aerial that has like a little mouse tail, but my girlfriend wanted a shark fin on it. So that's what we put on. And again, you hear the little bit of tapping they usually call these cars like typewriters because of them making that type tapping sound. But, you know, it's actually not running bad at all. That's actually how it runs. And when the tapping gets real loud, that's when you need to check that oil. Because cars like this, they require maintenance and attention to detail almost all the time because this is, in fact, not your typical car. So that's the one thing that makes this car so special and the fact that it makes a lot of great noise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it up and we're gonna get inside the car and I'm gonna take you for a quick ride out of Lickout Point so that way you guys can experience what this car is like. So let's go ahead and set our phone here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the parking garage with the windows down so you guys can actually hear and experience what this car is like. It's actually quite good. And I'm going to turn on the sport mode. All right, so windows down. Let's put it in reverse, brake off. All right guys, so let's get ready, let's do this. And I'm gonna show you why exactly I love this car so much by going through the park parking garage where you can actually get a great listen to this car's exhaust note and the turbo noises that it makes. So here we go. And thank you guys for joining me for my introduction video to the new Mouseball channel. That little chipmunk sound is turbo flutter. And here we go. And as you can see, the Bonaloom blow off valve is quite loud, especially in this parking garage where it's plenty of places for the actual noise to be heard and echo off the walls. here and of course we're going to slow down and be safe but I'm hoping the camera picks up the noises because those are probably the best parts of this car 
is the noise. The noise is exceptional. And it's the one reason why I was able to get over the cuteness factor of this car. Because most people would say, oh, well, it's too cute for me to drive. It's not aggressive enough. It's not, you know, a, a real sports car. But I beg to differ. This car is actually incredibly well versed in going around corners. It's a tight and taut car as far as the suspension and as far as it just being a car that's enjoyable to drive. It's fun factor is by far the best part about it. And the power output is not that bad. It, believe it or not, it will go and it can get up to at least 130 miles an hour, you know, which is not bad when you consider that these this car is only powered by an 89 cubic inch engine. So guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay wealthy. And remember, when the night falls, the boost blows off. Take it easy, guys. Mouse ball out.